Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Some Minecraft. So, last time we were in the nether, we got quite a bit. I am so happy this Roast Prime, I didn't even notice this, but I got chased on my way back. It was the worst experience ever. Like, probably my most, like, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, like, ten times in a row. Um, what happened was, basically, uh, a wisp got me, and it was starting to shoot me, but I was sprinting, like, jumping, sprinting, as fast as possible. But no matter what, he was on me the entire time. Well, I didn't realize this, but this does an instant health too. And basically, every time I ate it, it filled up my health bar instantly. Oh my goodness, it saved me so much. I was also in the middle of a lava lake. I don't know why this didn't work. This lava charm did not seem to have an effect. I don't know why. Did I not activate it? I, I, I have no clue. It just maybe two of them cancel each other out. Either way, when I was in the lava, I was dying. So it didn't seem to have an effect. When I got out of the, the, the lava lake, I was on fire. So it, it didn't seem to be working at all. So I'm not sure what to say on that. But either way, this roast prime was the most savior item I've ever had, basically. It was amazing. And uh, I was able to get back safely because of it. And I have yet to die, so... That was good news. Uh, I upgraded, I put the two osmium, you know, I threw them in and made the uh, the sharpening kit and got the osmium on my tool now. So um, I don't even know if it says it anywhere, but uh, there you go, fortify cobalt. Uh, I don't actually know what the next one is, so let's, let's check that out here. The next one would be manilium. Manilium is a, a mix between... Manilium is a mix, right? So... It's probably going to get eaten a bit, though. Uh, let's see here. So I want to make one, of course, which would be in the smelter. You need one ingot of that, which would be 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, so that's what I thought. Uh, so 2-2 two, two equals 2. So you're going to have to have 2 cobalt and 2 ardite for the recipe. Normally, you used to get a little bit more out of it because of the way... Uh, this pack is set up, of course. That's how it is. So we'll put those two in there. We can upgrade this weapon to the Manilium version. And that takes care of that. So that's pretty cool. What we're going to look at today is Coke Oven and a Coke. They're all called bricks, though. Coke brick and Coke um, and then a blast brick. So this is the upgraded one. We don't want that. We're going to use normal brick, which, of course, you use with um, clay, if you don't know that. And we have clay somewhere here. Uh, here we go. And then we're going to actually use some of that bone meal. Remember we got that crap ton of bone meal, a whole stack of it? That's what we're going to use today. And we're going to make these guys. So let's do the math here. I think it's 27 you need. 27 divided by 3, which is 9, times 4 basically. So I'm going to need 36 of these guys. So there you go. And there you go. 36 here, 36 there. And there you go. So we got 36 of those guys. And I probably don't have everything yet, but we'll see here. Uh, oh, and you need the sandstone. I didn't get sandstone. I don't even know if I have enough sand, honestly. Uh, I just need nine of them, so we have enough. There you go. And ta-da. That's 27. And there you go. And that, that was needed eventually, I guess. Uh, I guess it doesn't, you don't have to have it, but uh, of course I did want it. Uh, I don't know where to put this right now. I guess I'll put it over here because I don't think I'm planning to do anything over here anyways. So let's just do, yeah, let's just do it like this. There we go. And uh, we'll need our hammer and stuff, but we'll, we're going to go to the next thing anyways. The next thing I'm going to need is the blast brick. So blast brick. And uh, it's to make steel. So uh, you're going to need blaze powder, which right now there, there's probably not a good recipe to get blaze powder, I'm assuming. Uh, we can put it in here and see. But uh, you can get the flour in the desert, blaze rods, of course. Uh, you get from a sieve, squeezer, things like that. I assume I don't really have the ability to make any of this right away. So it just seems like the easiest thing is, okay, we'll go ahead and get it this way. So there's 10 of it. And so that gets that. And then it's just nether brick and brick. Here's the sad thing. I thought it was going to be like we needed the other stuff, but apparently not. And to get nether brick, uh, you can't get it the other way. So it has to be smelted, um, which horribly enough, 
We have no netherrack. Oh, we do have netherrack. Okay, we're good. I was like blinded there for a second. I was like, really? None? So that, that'll be enough because we just need the same thing as before. So I guess 36. Six, and then, of course, the brick. Uh, oh, I guess that's not going to work out so well if you don't have stuff there. And then this one's not going to work out so well either. There you go. Oh, and that's not working out. <laughs> Okay, well, that'll work out. And look at all that chicken, so. If we're going to do something scary, I'll definitely start eating something like the uh, other meat, of course. But uh, outside of that, I'm going to have to look into breeding them because that was powerful as hell, that meat. Uh, let's get the ha hammer, I guess. We can get that going. So basically, we need our little hammer we had before here, the engineer's hammer. And you just right-click this, and that's it. It's done. There you go. And you're going to put, or we're going to put coal in here. I was going to say, you can get, um, you'll put other stuff in here, but coal is what we really want. There you go. Now, hmm. Yeah, we'll do coal for the example. I was going to do other things, but I was going to say, you know what, it'll just be a waste for this episode, especially if we want to at least make a piece of steel, just to say, ta-da-da. Okay, let's check how you guys are doing. I kind of screwed up on you. <laughs> okay. So that should do well there. <clears throat> and I think it was nighttime. We we'll, might as well sleep in our own bed. Looks like one to one right now. Maybe somebody's in the nether or... Doesn't matter. It worked out. Okay. So we need 36, don't forget, before this works. So 35. We just need one more. There you go, 36. And this should let us make us this guy. There you go. And basically now we put, well, we're going to need iron, of course, for this. But um, fine, we'll use our one separate iron. I have actually some blocks I made, so I'll show you that in a minute. There you go. And there we go. And there we have it. So this guy's running. It takes a while, but he's almost done. Then we'll put the iron in here, and that'll make that. And that's pretty much it. And we're set for those two. So we'll, we'll throw the iron in here now. Oh, it's already in there. Okay. So yeah, we're just waiting on this. Doesn't show. Does it show anywhere? No, it doesn't show any advanced information. So I did the one thing. So it's almost done. You can actually look at the recipe. So what we want is the coke coal or block of coke coal. Uh, charcoal, I think, actually technically works, but I think it uses a lot or something like that. And then here you go. You can do this. So uh, you can see a piece of iron. I guess the fuel, whatever fuel it takes, I guess. Oh, here it is. Coke coal, block of coke coal, charcoal. So 600, 1200. So charcoal actually is the equivalent of, you know, uh, four of the, uh, or sorry, charcoal is four of them is equivalent of one coke coal. Not as bad as I thought, actually. Huh. And there we go. And this will uh, run that. And there we go. We'll get a piece of steel out of that. And that's that's literally all it is. Pretty simple, actually. Uh, let's go over here. And we'll get our manilium. And we'll get our upgrade on our tool here. So we get the next level here. I'm really happy. And the byproduct of this is creosote. Which we can actually use that for uh, quite a few things, even making chests and stuff. So that's kind of nice. And then let's go ahead and get our flint here. I think it's in here. Excellent. And I guess we can get rid of you. And I guess we'll put the blaze in here. And brick. I don't even know where the brick is at this point now. We'll just throw it up here. Wait, didn't I have a bunch more brick? There you go. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade our pick here, just the same way as I did with the Cobalt. And uh, there you go. So we got the new upgrade there. And, of course, now we're getting a little bit of rewards here. We haven't really been collecting it. So here is the Cobalt one. You get you know a few stats here, up to you what you want. This is a Manelium Mining level, 666, kind of cool looking. Um, I really don't know what I want. That sounds cool and different, so I might get that and just hold on to it. And then you got this one, Atomic. Oh, no, that's the next thing. Sorry. That's made with the other uh, material. We won't have that for a while. So this is lead, but this is Certus. Certus has a worse mining level, I think, but 
don't know, this one seems better. It doesn't really matter in the end in, in my book. And I've been just shoving this stuff in here. Um, actually, this might be a good time to do an upgrade, actually. So let's go ahead. Oh, crap. Um, I did something naughty, and I didn't realize this would bite me now. But now it is biting me. Uh, let's put you in here. Oh, no. What the heck? I thought we didn't do that. I guess there is a recipe still for it. It just you, you kind of have to shove it in there more. That's that made me sad. Okay, so let's put you in here and let's put the nether brick up here. I made a bunch of boats. The fur boats don't stack. I think the vanilla ones do, don't they? To like sixteen or maybe even a little less, but even three. But those did not stack. Um, oh, we have two of these. I actually only need two seared bricks, but might as well go and... Oh, I don't even have much sand. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this water anyways eventually, so let's do this here. The sand's, like, bothering me so much. We weren't supposed to stay there. Way slower to do this underwater. There you go. There you go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get rid of you, you, and you. We'll get some gravel, which is up here. And then we're going to get... Uh, what was the other component? Clay, right? There you go. And... There you go. And I just need uh, a bit of this, but I'll get these two going for that now. And, yeah, so I'm going to need that, and then I just need two bricks here, which I'll get here in a second. One brick, and two bricks. There we go. And this will give us three of these, and then I'm going to need, I think, four iron, I believe. Uh, you can use your copper, too. I'll probably use less copper over time, so let's do that for now. And then let's go ahead and take our tool station here. Oh, sorry. Tool station. And we're going to go over here, and I think this is the recipe, so I think it's like this. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, I did that one wrong. It's like this, and like this, like this, and I think a tool station right there. There you go. So that's the copper one. doesn't matter what you make it out of. Don't let it throw you off because, you know, you might think, oh, it's only one recipe. I think the one they display on this pack is like the steel leaf, where some I've seen like under IO electric metal or something so it might throw you off but you just need uh, the one and you're good to go and this is the upgrade so we can make things like the lumber axe or the excavator or things like that honestly I'm not really excited by many of these because I just don't see any hope or want right now with them what I am excited about eventually maybe not right away is making the laser gun the other thing I'm excited about is the Cantana. So I could actually look into the laser gun now. I don't know how much we could actually build that would be useful, but uh, over time it would be, it definitely would be useful, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more iron out of this. Uh, let's get a, uh, look at that. So with the iron that we already got, uh, were working on, that would be exactly 64 over time. Eh. Here we go. We'll put you in there and there you go. No achievement, unfortunately, for that. Probably no achievement for this lag either. Uh, okay. But there was other uh, quest items here. So we, we got those two. And then there was gates. So, yeah. So we got the engineering here. You got a portable tank, uh, fluid pump, and iron. Uh, this is open immersive engineering. So is this, this is probably set up. I don't know if theirs require... Um, interesting. I wonder if theirs required for that or not. Let's Let's try this. Look at that, it gave me 32 iron plate. That's actually sexy. And we screwed up iron. Iron's actually really easy to make, by the way. But I screwed up one time, so we won't talk about that. I don't know how this works, my friends. I don't know how this works at all. It looks like it actually requires energy from the look of it. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to pump it out of here. So uh, I don't know what the best way is to do this. You could probably do it this way. There you go. Just throw the portable tank in there. <laughs> <laughs> throw this and use this later on there you go problem solved okay and then yes yeah, so we got our plates here awesome and then the slag will figure out over time what we need to do for that okay look at that that's awesome so we got that awesome reward and we got this 
gate. This is accidentally, but you get that or marble. Oh, you get both of them. Okay, even better. So we got you here, and marble can just go in here. Excellent. So that was the gates. Um, I don't think we've touched anything in here yet. Uh, oddly enough, oh, there you go. You just claim this. Okay, claim. So you get a, a hammer. So you get a hammer anyways out of that for a freebie. And, uh, and then an engineer's book too. So awesome. And it looks like we might have even got a little bit more out of that. There you go. The Coke oven. So you got your loot here and just pick one of these and then pick one of these. There you go. And, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I just made that. Uh... Oh, uh, that's so funny as hell. It makes me sad at the same time, though. Oh, wait, this is something else. A tinkering table? Oh, mystic... Uh, Oh, this is something else. Never mind. I thought this was... Oh, this is something else. Okay, well, that's probably a good item, then. I don't know anything about this, but this is related to that mod. Okay. Oh, and this is this... Oh, so this is actually really expensive as hell. That's really expensive, actually. And uncommon. Uh, spawner Seeker searches out near a spawner. These ones I'll just throw in here. I never find them useful. We'll just hit like 100 cave spider ones. Okay. Awesome. And then, of course, it wants you to go th a bit through that a bit more. And then Thomcraft. I guess you could start the book or... Oh, no. You have to get the things. Okay, cool. And then I'm not going to grab anything else in here. I might as well grab this just in case. Just so it's it begins it anyways. I'm not gonna do that right away. I gotta learn that stuff anyway, so that's kind of gonna be a something over time, but I just wanted to start it a bit. There you go. I, I don't think we've accidentally started anything else now. No. So here's your gates, of course. So you got your forestry. Uh, gate industrial industrial craft would be the next one I would do so basic machine thing so you go uh, in IC2 I think you can do actually basic there you go um, so basic machine frame is actually quite easy it actually requires the large plates here which is not well it, it is easy but they are very very fracking expensive and it requires iron so let's let's start on that let's throw these over here first and there you go. And I, I extended by double, by the way. So it does. That would make eight ingots, or uh, eight uh, blocks worth. Uh, before, I mean, if it would double it, it would be 16 blocks worth to give you an idea. What we're going to do here is we're going to make a new part here. And we're going to do the plate here. And then we're going to take the plate and create the cast for it. And I think I might have one left, or maybe I used it. Damn it. I had used it at one point. Um, so I'm going to have to put more aluminum and uh, copper, but I forget the, honestly, I forget the, the cast now, so I'm going to double check. I don't know what it was exactly. Uh, so it was, okay, one copper, three aluminum. Okay, so one, two, and then aluminum, wherever it is in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, might as well. There you go. And I don't think any of these will mix with that, so that should be good, hopefully. <laughs> there you go. And uh, yeah, I added a little roll over here, which we already used and I never really mentioned that, which is kind of a shame because I probably should mention that. There you go. Hello. I thought I picked you up, but I guess I never did. Or I just got sidetracked. Oh, there was already one there. Well, you know what? Uh, I wonder if P exists. Yeah, it does. That's uh, Draconic Evolution. It lets you place stuff on the walls and stuff. Uh, there we go. We'll just throw it on the wall. And there you go. Aluminum brass. Actually, screw that. We're going to do double. This actually makes sense because uh, this is going to be annoying anyways. This many plates especially. It's just that's a lot of plates. There you go. So we go iron. And I think these are like worth eight. So they're not nine ingots worth. They're like eight ingots worth. It's kind of a, an annoying number. But uh, you get the idea. And they they're, they're take a long time to cool down as well. So 
So if you go back to IC2, you got the machine. And then aluminum plates. You know, out of everything, then they had to punch you with aluminum plates, which thankfully we have aluminum processed here, some. The only downside to this is that uh, I don't think aluminum plates, you can dupe them. I didn't do it properly last time anyways, but yeah, it's a one-to-one -one thing. Uh, you can get more one ingot. One ingot. One ingot. I didn't realize that. So that can get us what we need right there. Imagine that. Okay, let's do the iron again. There we go. Might as well let that run a bit. And we're going to go ahead and get that stencil if we can. It's a plate of some sort. Not a sign plate. Not that kind of plate. You know what? It's I, I know. It probably isn't something I can make, maybe. It has to be like this. But we have the iron. Oh, also, is there... It's aluminum, aluminum. It's always aluminum. Okay, so it's always aluminum. It's just those change. Uh, iron plates. Honestly, let's do two iron plates. Just to do the same thing. Not have to live with a million of them over time. There you go. There you go. And we'll put you... Did, Oh, that was from my inventory. I thought something jumped over my head. I thought that was a bit weird, but... There you go. Aha! One to one. There you go. And then we'll put these guys back. There you go. And let that cool, and we can, I guess we got enough to make our first one anyway, so. Uh, I think, I don't know if I'm missing something else in the middle. No, nope, that's it. So, there you go. We just made our first four machine blocks. Diddling. And that's the beginning of industrial craft. And then, <clears throat> excuse me there. And uh, then we'll be able to uh, do more here. Might as well get these two going, because that'll make us eight. Pretty good start, if you ask me. And then, yeah, so that'll get us into the beginnings of IC. And, oh, you get to pick. Uh, so 32, 64 rubber. I have very little rubber, but the overclockers are probably the best reward. They're annoying to make. And it just it's just a no-brainer in my book. Plus, we get to uh, go ahead and make our uh, rubber now. So let's go ahead and prune these trees down first. There you go. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and plant these around. You can plant them wherever you want, though, of course. One, two, three, four, I guess. Yeah. Then one, two, three, four. Four, four, four. That's annoying. <laughs> it's like, I am not letting that happen. There you go. And four. Okay. We might as well grab these, finish that off. Awesome. And so what we're going to do here is get our last four here, which even more awesome. And uh, so that that's four machine cases, which is great. So you can make circuits and stuff like that in the future. Uh, but we need to get the rubber, which basically means we need our wood. Where is my wood chest? Here it is. And we're going to get, uh, here we go. We'll just use you, I guess. There we go. We'll just turn this into, there you go. And don't ask what I've done here, but there you go. And then you could just right click. Now, rubber at first, you want an extractor to get like one rubber equals, uh, um, or sorry, one, yeah, one resin equals, wait, this one doesn't even have any? Okay, if it has this as a problem, just get rid of it. It's useless at that point, and you're just wasting your time. So if there is none, get rid of it. Uh, oh, there's one up there. Even that, in my opinion, is a waste, but I might just... There you go. If it's got one, get rid of it, too. I, I'm like a, a minimum two kind of person, though I'm willing to eat the crap out of it like this one. There you go. Wow. Wait, does the right-click work unlimitedly? I didn't realize that, huh? Okay. Either way, wood is free 
There you go. This one has two. So this is an appropriate one. So you get this one. You can see it leaves a slight mark when you grab it. So when you jump up there, you can see it has a little mark there. And this one you can see... I don't even know where it was, to be honest. Oh, yeah, this one right there. So that's the resin one there. So one here and one here. Awesome. And sometimes you can have even three, four. I think it's just completely random. It's just, you know, three or four would be even more rare. But, uh, yeah. I just find it kind of disgusting when you get, you know, very little. Okay, so we got 30 resin. So that that's a good start. Not a... Not a ton, but it, it's a start, and I think that's what counts. Okay, so we're going to put you in here. So you just smelt it for now. Just normal smelting. There you go. And, uh, yeah. I'm excited. And then what's the first thing it wants us to make anyways? I mean, we might as well check it. So that was the gate to IC. So IC... Uh, we Oh, we're going to get free loot out of this anyway, so we might as well claim that now. Whoop. And, well, I tried to claim it, but apparently I'm not good at clicking. Ah, oh, silly bugs. There you go. Oh, I have Ender. Wait, does that say it to everyone? Does it even say it on Discord? Seems horrible. I guess it tells you everyone in the game that. I didn't realize that. Let's see if it shows something like that. Oh, yeah, Keen, better questing. Uh, oh, yeah, somebody's doing immersive quest line. And for me, I've done the industrial quest line. So that's cool. I didn't realize it does that. So this is good because we have a Discord bot, too. So we could look up people who do this. This could be useful later on, too. So I would have preferred pure Ender Pearls, but uh, either way, that's awesome. Okay, so yeah, Ender. You know, so we're going to do the rubber task. So you need to uh, detect. You're a pain in my ass. Why are you... <laughs> the tree tap? It's right there. Okay. It looked like it worked anyways. There you go. And then we get another one of these guys, which is a bear trap. Cool. Boring. <laughs> and uh, so we're done that one. And then basically you start working on like things like your generator and... Uh, which, uh, I guess the generator is probably not too expensive. Here's the generator. Requires the battery, tin plates, things like that. So we'll, we'll get into IC next episode, honestly. I'm just getting this into the start of, uh, we'll just call it like start of multi multiple paths or something crazy like that. And uh, I think that'll work. And then for creosote, we might as well try. I don't know if there's an actual quest line for creosote. I don't think so oh no there is for one for treated wood awesome because this will be good for this then uh and then we're gonna need the treated wood here we go and then uh, i should honestly let's do something here for fun there you go and there you go there you go i just thought all of a sudden stupid door if we can do something like this in between there you go and so we'll just take this actually this would be cool if you could do this i'm pretty sure you can't though but let's try it anyways oh you can so it's using the creosote right out of there and then uh that should okay we, we've used it all i did not realize it would do that there you go and then you can put that back in there that holds 32 buckets and this holds 12 buckets so uh, was that 40 something buckets? Oh yeah. 32. So this one holds all the amount you need for one stack of coal. So that actually works out all the time. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so we got these guys and then they're just used it, used for whatever. They're used quite a bit for immersive engineer, of course, but they'll be great for, uh, other things as well. Like, uh, making chests out of them. So yeah, meh crap for thermal expansion later on. And there you go. So I, I think I'll leave it there. I think we've done quite a few things to get us started. I'm really happy about that. And um, really, we'll probably start looking into IC, and then I'll go from there. And uh, I'll get more resin, of course, too, over time. And, uh, yeah. Oh, look at this one. This one's perfect. Small tree, but has both resin spots in one spot. So that's that's beautiful.
So yeah, one of the first things I'll probably make is literally the extractor. Uh, well, the, you'll need the furnace to, to feed it, the generator, sorry, and then I'll make the extractor because then with the extractor, I'll get three times the amount. So that's kind of nice. And yeah, so I am tired. I think we did an awesome, very fulfilling episode. I, I feel like this was like the nether episode. A lot happened and really worked out well. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.